Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. You know, it's really an exciting time whenever I receive something new to review from Big Fats Hot Sauce. Now, Big Fats happens to be one of my uh, very favorite hot sauce companies out there right now. Just some amazing flavor profiles. Jeremy Walsh is the creator, and I call him the Spice Master because he is just an expert at blending spices, unique ingredients to create flavor profiles that really nobody else is doing. So it's really uh, quite amazing. And I'm very pleased to be one of the first to review his latest creation uh, that was created uh, especially to be uh, released at the New York City Hot Sauce Expo this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, April 25th and 26th. Now this one is called Big Fats Bizarre Magic Harissa Style hot sauce with Carolina Reapers. Now, just an awesome label on there. Isn't that cool? Bizarre magic. Just love it. Now, let me go ahead and read the side uh, on this uh, bottle here. Jeremy has a way with words. He always has these very nice descriptions on the side here. It says, uh, in the bustling markets of North Africa, where Harissa was born, one can chance upon most anything at the right bazaar, exotic spices, flying carpets, or maybe even a magic lamp. But around every corner, the scorching Carolina Reaper creeps, ready to take part in this most delicious of potions. Full of flavors, so enchanting, it'll put a spell on you. All right. Um, now, let me go ahead and read the ingredients on this. This is just an awesome list of ingredients. Uh, and uh, and uh, let me start off here. We start off with water, onion, tomato, distilled vinegar, habanero mash, which is habaneros and vinegar. Lemon juice, garlic, parsley, coriander, caraway, pecan smoked Carolina Reaper powder, uh, sea salt, tamarind extract, cumin, rosemary, fennel seed powder, rose hip powder, and black pepper. And that's a, that's a whole lot of spices. No artificial uh, additives or preservatives. Color of the sauce may vary due to natural ingredients. And his instructions are to shake it, use it, love it, and repeat. All right, now just take a look at this uh, color on this one and the consistency. It's pretty thick, but you've got some substance to it. You've got some pulp, or uh, it's got a nice, thick, rich color, and you can see the uh, the richness of the spices in here as they stick to the uh, the side of the bottle. All right. Now, before we get into the aroma on this, uh, this kind of reminds me of um, what you call a Ras El Hanout. And I'll put a picture of it right there. Now, Ras El Hanout uh, literally translates to mean uh, top of the shop or top shelf. And it's referring to a blend of Moroccan spices uh, that a uh, merchant uh, would, it would be the best that the merchant has to offer. In other words, just the best of his spices. And so uh, what um, garam masala is to India, I would say the Ras El Hanout is to Morocco or North Africa. It's used uh, not only in Morocco, but uh, in all the, uh, the countries there in Northern Africa. Uh, just an awesome blending of spices. Some people say it's got to be exactly 12, uh, but others say that it just depends on what they want, what region they're in, or what they like. But let me put it this way, it is just a blending of a whole bunch of awesome spices. And so that reminded me of this, what Jeremy is doing on this, is that Ras El Hanout with the, uh, all of these spices that are in here. Now, notice that it says it's a, a Harissa style uh, hot sauce. So it's not a Harissa sauce itself. Traditionally, a Harissa sauce would be made with uh, a dried red chilies of some type, um, uh, olive oil, garlic, uh, uh, lemon juice, I believe, and uh, usually cumin, coriander, and caraway are the spices that are used in the traditional harissa. But uh, all of that that I mentioned is in here, but a whole lot more. So let's go ahead and uh, check out the aroma on this one. Now this is where I really took the time to study this a little bit and get to know it because there's a whole lot going on in this, this sauce. It smells, it smells uh, spicy and rich. So you get the savoriness of, uh, of what's in here, which is, uh, you know, the savoriness from the, uh, the tomato, the garlic and the onions, but it just goes beyond that um, so much more. I think the best way to describe what is going on in this sauce, I had to take notes on this one. I mean, it's definitely warm, it's, it's rich, it's savory, 
it's spicy, it's tart, it's a little bit floral, and it's also camphorous. And what I mean by that is that um, what I'm kind of picking up um, is kind of a, I get the floral notes a little bit, and that's definitely probably coming from the, um, uh, the uh, coriander and uh, possibly the rose hip. But I get that camphorous, or in other words, what I mean by that is kind of a, 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 um, a wintergreen vibe or a eucalyptic vibe. Um, and that's definitely uh, probably because of the, uh, uh, the uh, rosemary and the fennel seeds. Uh, the tamarind extract is possibly given that kind of that sweet, sour uh, tartness. But man, it is just amazing. This is just, it's, it's so much you can pick up on this. Wow, just incredible. If you love spices, you're going to love this. Now, this is some unique stuff. So let me go ahead and put it on a spoon for you guys. All right, here we go. Just do a little bit here. Mm. Wow. <clears throat> All of that that I just mentioned, you get it. This one's definitely got some spiciness going on. Um, rich, savory, tomatoey a little bit, garlic, onion, and then all those other spice blends. You're just getting all of that. It is just some amazing stuff. So if you like harissa, if you like Moroccan cuisine, if you like that blending of spices like that, this stuff is just absolutely amazing, incredible stuff. Pretty spicy, not overly um, hot, not blistering hot from the Carolina Reaper, the pecan smoked um Reaper uh, powder that's in here, and I thought it was a very nice, unique way to use the Carolina Reaper instead of just using fresh reapers like everybody else is doing. Jeremy decided to do something a little bit different, and uh, it really does shine in this particular sauce. Now, let me show you guys what I used to uh, make the use this sauce on. What I came up with here's a picture of it is a Moroccan lamb tagine. Uh, with potatoes and chickpeas on top of some saffron rice with some toasted um, pita triangles and it was just incredible. So a tagine, let me show you a picture of a tagine. What a tagine is, is a vessel or a, a Moroccan uh, style cooking device uh, that kind of really uh, made of clay pot or ceramic or something like that. It's got that conical uh, top to it that's used to really slow cook the foods. Well, to, to cook a, uh, you know, a, a tagine, a lamb tagine or beef or whatever you're using, you can do it right there on the stovetop. So you don't need that particular vessel. Uh, just use a Dutch oven and just slow cook it on top of the stovetop. It works very, very well. Uh, but uh, just some amazing flavors on this one. Uh, Jeremy, you have really knocked it out of the park on this one. This deserves a 10 out of 10 uh, for flavor. Awesome job. I think this is probably uh, my new favorite. Uh, uh, 7 of 8 is my favorite of your numbered sauces, but of the unnumbered sauces, this is definitely my favorite. This is some fantastic stuff. On heat, I put it upper medium, slightly upper medium category. I think a 6 out of 10 is appropriate. He's got this numbered here. He's got this one marked out at the seven uh, level, so almost all the way. But uh, I think it's about a six out of ten on my one to ten scale. But incredible stuff. Make sure you check this stuff out. Tell him I sent you. If you go into New York City this weekend, you will not be disappointed. And also stay tuned for the um, the great Chicago Fiery Foods Fest that Big Fats Hot Sauce is uh, hosting uh, this August eighth and 9th in the great city of Chicago, Illinois. It's going to be at the Stephen S. Bailey Auditorium on Washington Avenue. I'll put the link down in the description for the, uh, the great um, Fiery Food Fest. Uh, link will be down in the description. So make sure you check that out. Uh, this August, a lot of vendors uh, that we all know and love have signed up for it as well. So uh, make sure you check that out. But once again, some incredible flavor from Jeremy Walsh of Big Fats. Uh, Highly recommended. Make sure you give them a like on Facebook. And the website simply is BigFatsHotSauce.com. Um, Link will be down in the description. All right. Thank you, Jeremy, for sending it. I do appreciate it. And everybody, thanks for watching. And until the next time, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.